What's happening, YouTube world? I know it's been two weeks, and I know y'all miss me like pure hell, but I'm back. And I've got a co-host that's going to sit here in place when my wife is not around because y'all know she's busy doing her thing. My co-host is busy too, but she has seen a movie that I've seen and we want to review it together. It is called The Invisible Man. Let's jump into it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe. I'm Lamont. This is my co-host, Jack A. Nicole. <laughs> I'm Nicole. She's I'm, Nicole. I'm Nicole. Y'all, just Nicole. My two two seven folks. No. Y'all, y'all know what no. I'm talking about. No. And we are reviewing the Invisible Man, directed by Lee Wynell, produced by Jason Bloom. It's kind of a. It's in the horror genre, but it's more of a dramatic movie, and it stars Elizabeth Moth. Y'all know her very well. Aldis Hodge, Storm Reed, the same little girl from. Don't Speak, and Harriet Dyer. The fundamentals of any good movie, because movie reviews can be so subjective, but you have fundamentals. Is the acting good? Is the cinematography good? Is the overall experience in the movie theater good? Did the movie feel like it was too long and the soundtrack? Having said those things, Miss Nicole, give us your review of The Invisible Man. It was a suspense thriller. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a scary movie, but it was not so much scary than suspenseful. The music helped play into that suspense. There were times where I covered my eyes, mm -hmm. put my head in my sweatshirt because I didn't want to see what was going, going to happen. But that was because of the music. It had nothing to do with what was happening on the screen. It was because of the music. Mm -hmm. um, I like Elizabeth Moss. I know her. I was introduced to her from Mad Men. I love that series. I love the character that she played in that mo in that um, series. Mm -hmm. And I did watch the first season of Handmaid's Tale. So, mm -hmm. um, but this movie here, um, she did okay. It was it was okay. So over. So your your full estimation of the movie was it was okay. It was okay. She is not a suspense thriller actress. I can see that. Right. She, she's she's but, dramatic. She does wonderful as if people have seen The Handmaid's Tale. She was phenomenal in Mad Men. I have a marketing background. I love marketing. So that whole TV show just spoke to me. Mm -hmm. um, but she is not a suspense. She doesn't build suspense. She doesn't pull that off very well. Right. As she was saying, in terms of being in the genre of horror, my subjective opinion was it was more suspense than horror, I would say. Um, I felt like the, the directors didn't really go too risque in the things they did. And for those of you that have no idea what the movie is about, basically, she escapes from an abusive relationship and that abusive relationship ties her to a very, a very, very smart eye doctor who comes up with a device, a, um, a suit that makes him invisible. And when he created the suit, he had intentions to use it for another purpose, but he winds up using the suit to terrorize her and faking his death in this entire movie. And they could have taken elements of this movie and really been risque. I felt like they held back on being risque. They could have done things where they really messed with her head in terms of um, attempting to um, play with her in the bedroom, um, showing up in places where he could have hurt her in even more than what he did. His whole intent in this movie didn't revolve around physical harm to the character as much as it did mental harm to the character. I think that the movie many viewers may remember back sometime years ago sleeping with the enemy julia roberts so it was all all that type of setup in the beginning when the movie comes on you know she's in what we're we as the audience are led to believe is an abusive or um destructive relationship and she's going to escape okay so she's going to do this dramatic escape okay so that's what i thought of when it first came on like this feels like sleeping with the enemy mm -hmm. but um I, I don't think they could have gone too far with 
him messing with her with the invisible suit because once he takes it off, now he's visible. Mm, good point. So, good point. You know, if he's if he's gonna take off the pants to right. you know sexually assault her, right? Then okay, now it's like well a a, a, a lower half of a body. Well, like, she she still don't know that would be his penis. I understand that, but I, I just don't think it could have realistically played out on screen. Okay. So okay. that was why it was, I felt like it was a more of a mental game with mm-hmm. him and her. Mm-hmm. I, I can, and I, like I said, I can agree to what she just said. Now, in terms of the dynamics, I like the movie, but I felt like they drug it out a little too long. Do you, is that a fair assessment? The... Um, and I'm not sure how much to say without giving away the movie. You can but, give it away at this um, point. The part where she was at the mental hospital, it just seemed far-fetched. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I've never been in a mental hospital. I don't know anyone that's been in a mental hospital. But I've seen other movies play out in those in that situation where I believed what was happening. I did not believe a mm-hmm. lot of what was happening. Um, when an officer comes in to do his rounds and he's checking on the patients and something happens and now he's face to face with her versus watching her through the door or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And something happens to the officer in other movies that I've seen and that's it's like almost like a SWAT team comes. (laughs) And it's like they're sending two officers at a time and they're getting taken out. It's like well, where is, like, I, I was what? sitting there saying to myself, if this was a black dude, they would have sent the whole damn LAPD in there at that moment. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I was just thinking, you know, okay, the first officer gets taken down or somebody hears shots. Right. They're not going to send, well, let's send two more in there and see what happens. No, it's, mm-hmm. it's a mental, it's a prison mental facility. Mm-hmm. So at this point, it's going to be. It's going down. A, an entire, yeah. then they get outside of the, the building and she's now free, so to speak. Okay, there are no helicopters, there's no sirens, there's no police. What? What? Y'all remember what happened to OJ before his ass could get out of the house? They had five helicopters following him. I mean, so I'm trying to figure yeah. out, like, what? They they didn't do that so, part right. Yeah, it's there, there were parts. That's why I said it was okay. So right. if I had to give it stars or popcorns or whatever... I give it. I'll say a solid three because I do like. I like Elizabeth Moss as an actress. She's just not a suspenseful actress. I did like the the fact that they gave the um, the husband, the boyfriend, or whatever. Aldous Hodge. Um, I, I um, they gave him a career, like an impressive. He was a police opti- officer. No. Oh, you're talking about her. her. I, I wasn't talking about oh, the guy. Okay. No, I. I I have oh other Lord, she didn't that. like the brother in. The- I didn't know. I liked the brother. I just didn't like that whole di- what was going on with Lord that over there. Mercy. But no, I mean the the abusive husband boyfriend part. I liked that they gave him like a career, a optic career. He was an optic nerd. Um, he, I, you know, he was I, an I just, optometrist. He was way more than just an optometrist. Yeah. So that that intrigued me. Like, okay. Forget her and this scary stuff that she's over here trying. Let's talk more about how he get into that. What does he do? That was what interests me. That oh, I sat up to pay attention, you know, and it afforded him a lifestyle that was, i.e., Batman type. You know, he had the gadgets, the tools, and stuff. Thus, the invisible suit. So. Getting back to the acting, and my good brother, that was the police officer. He did the thing in this movie too. So did his daughter. And to pull this whole thing together, because I think she gave y'all all all the movies, she did a good job. If I'm judging this on a life gain scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the best, I would give this movie a solid 6.5. I like the movie. I felt like they drug it out. I felt like that very last act, they could have cut some of that scene she was talking about in terms of the psychiatric ward. And I felt like they should have expanded upon... Um, the the boyfriend that she was speaking of. They could have went a little bit more into his background so that we could understand his dynamic. And they did leave the movie wide open for possibly a part two. And I'm not going to give y'all the whole entire thing. Any closing remarks you'd like to say as we get ready to wrap up this well-done movie? I didn't know you had a little thespian in you. Good job. 
there's a whole lot about me you don't know. Anyway, um, so I give it three of my stars out of five, five being the best. Um, the boyfriend, friend, the sister's boyfriend, I don't know what his, the police officer guy, I don't know what. The African American in the movie. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay, so him, um, he took some chances letting this, um, this woman come live with him and, you know, she's escaping because, i.e., isn't he breaking the law too? Like, you know, so I don't know. It, there were just parts. I love him as an actor. I love him as a, he is very good eye candy. I would watch, you know, him read the phone book. However, uh, in this movie, it was just okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boy. This movie review went places. I did not know it was going to go. And we're going to end it right there. Acting was good. Soundtrack was great for this movie. Cinematography was great. The movie just went a little too long. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Comment below if you want to see Nicole on more reviews as we go. She brings her own brand of entertainment to these movies and reviews and things that we do on this channel. And we will keep you guys posted. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life gain. Any closing words, Mrs. Nicole? I enjoyed this. This was a little fun. Anytime somebody get up here and start taking over my channel, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, I would never take over. No, I'm not. I'm not that type of, no, no, I'm not a takeover. But I'm going to enhance you and make you better. You know, you might be a movement by yourself, but you're a force when, you know. Until that next sexy as hell video, ladies and gentlemen, we shall see you.